like Aiden Johnson here, and uh, as you can tell by my face, my hair, my general attire, I've just woken up. It's Monday the 21st of January, and the point of this video is I'm starting a brand new playlist, a brand new series, and the point is, I've been talking a lot about cutting, uh, losing weight, and how I did it, etc, etc, but I'm going to put it into practice and show you exactly how a cut works over time. I'm going to take you on the journey with me, I'm going to lose fat over YouTube, I'm going to document everything that I do to lose weight. Um, a few things I've done to make this uh, more fair, more realistic to how you're going to be doing it is I've changed my routine. Uh, I was training every day, twice a day, doing uh, resistance and cardio, resistance and cardio, resistance and cardio, and then cardio twice on the cardio days. I've cut like all of my cardio out. So I have no idea where my, uh, my basal metabolic rate is at the moment. Um, I'm still doing the same resistance five days a week. I might throw in some cardio, uh, different types of cardio, um, on my Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm not entirely sure. I might just leave Saturdays a rest day. Um, basically, I'm where you're going to be starting um, in terms of knowledge of your basal metabolic rate. You'll have an idea, but you won't really know. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the principles that I've been talking about over the last few weeks of how to lose fat, and I'm going to apply them in practice. Now, the first things first, what I'm going to do I'm going to take a weight measurement. Uh, this is my first weight measurement. This is the one you put into the calculator, and we'll go from there. So here's my scales. I'm just left. As you can see, I've got two scales because I'm just balling like that. I'm going to be using this one for the purposes of this. Now, I normally take my weight measurements naked, but you can understand how I may be reluctant to do that on YouTube. And normally, I don't do it holding an iPhone. But this time, we are. Now, as you can see there, that's my weight measurement in a sec. 89.0. What I generally do is I get off the scales and uh, I take it again. Sorry about that, I had some technical difficulties with my scale. Let me jump on this again to just to confirm the weight reading. As you can see, that's my weight right now. I'm 89 kilos, it's going to try and work out body fat. We're not interested in that, it doesn't get it right anyway. So at the moment, this is where I am 89 kilos. Um, I'm Obviously, I'm not where I started a year ago, you know, loads of fat, but I am fat than I was in November when I ended my cut. I've been bulking a little bit and uh, I put on some tummy fat, as you can see. See all this? This is what we're going to be getting rid of. Some people say, no, that's skin. That is not skin, that is fat. I'm going to be going to get some leg definition, as you can see. Got like no leg definition whatsoever. Get the leg. All that there ruining my legs, that's gonna go. Uh, that's. I'll do a lap pose of that. And obviously, some chest fat here. All of that is what's gonna go. That's my goal at the moment. I wanna get cut completely, cut, cut all this fat off. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is calculate my, my diet. I've gotta work out what I'm gonna eat. So let's check that out. Okay, now I don't know how it's going to show up on YouTube, I'm uh, looking at the computer monitor here, but I think you can just about see it. What I've done is I've put in my body weight here, as you can see, 89, that's the weight that we got when we looked at the, um, the scales. Uh, ignore most of this, this is the way that I work out diet and have been doing so for a while. What it does is it calculates your weight in pounds from your weight in uh, kilos. Uh, that's my body type there. You put in the multiply there. My multiply is quite high. I train a lot. Um, I've always had it uh, to be really high. But I'm not entirely sure it's that high at the moment because I'm not doing as much cardio. But I think I'm going to leave it that high. I'm going to test it out at that high. So I would estimate that my basal metabolic rate at the moment is about, it's probably slightly less than this, but we're going to go with this because I don't know, 4,500 calories. So I'm going to drop 600 from that to 39.12 calories. Calculate protein per day, which is 0.25 times the uh, body weight, as I've uh, shown you in the cutting calculator thing. I'll put a link to that in this. And after that, fat intake. Now, I put a slightly higher fat intake than um, I gave people on the cutting calculator. That's because I'm trying to stay as anabolic as possible throughout this cut. I'm going to try and do it in a really controlled way and I really want to make sure there's as much fat in the diet so that I'm, uh, I can build some muscle as well. I'm hoping to, to not stop my muscle building as I cut. Uh, famous last words. But yeah, 
as opposed to a lower fat intake of 0.2 or 20%, I'm going to put it up to 25%, a little bit higher, which works out to be 108 grams of fat, as you can see there. Ignore the number to the right. Now, if I come back here, this is what I will be eating. I use this to work out what I'll eat throughout the day. It calculates everything. Um, foods that I'll be eating at the start of the cart include almonds, walnuts, casein protein, raw chicken from the butchers. Uh, I'll probably cook it first. Uh, sweet potato and uh, vegetable soup. Now, if I go down to the bottom, it tells you the totals there. So that's going to work out to be 246 grams of protein, 475 grams of carbs, 109 grams of fat for 3,900 calories. As you can see, all those numbers balance up neatly. And that's going to be my cutting calories. Now, what I might find in the first week is I don't lose any weight. Maybe without the cardio, um, my, my metabolic rate is a lot lower than, than I've previously thought it to be. But we don't know, so we're going to do it. Um, to give you a little clue as to what my uh, routine is going to be, it's going to be five days a week um, resistance. And I'm a bit injured at the moment. I hurt my shoulders. I won't be playing tennis on Wednesday, which is what I normally do. And I probably won't be doing anything on Saturday, so I'm going to take those two days just completely off. I'm not doing any cardio at the moment. So uh, I'm going to show you, A, not only that um, you can lose weight with cardio without cardio, but B, that you don't actually need any cardio at all. If you don't want to do any, you can lose weight with, with precisely zero. Um, hopefully, this is going to be some help to you. Yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to document this. The rules are... I can only change my diet numbers. I can eat different foods, but I can only change the, my macros once a week. I can't change them midweek. I can't weigh myself midweek because that's cheating. Um, I will continue to document um, my weight loss and muscle gain, etc., etc., in the way that I've always been doing it, which is a progress picture every Monday post workout. Uh, I'll also do a video um, in the morning, just like this one, every Monday morning um, of to show you what, what I look like and my exact weight on that morning. And at the same time, I'll recalculate my diet based on those results. Um, we're probably not going to do a recalculation for the diet for another two weeks now, because I'm just going to let the numbers ride and see what happens. Um, what other rules, what other interesting things can I put into this? I will probably be changing my diet on Friday. I've got an idea for a slightly different diet. Same exact macros, but different foods, but I haven't got the food yet. So uh, my Tesco shop comes on Friday. I'm going to change it then, and I will do a video on Friday to show the changes. Um, Just to zoom in here, I'm going to show you exactly how this works. This is 2,400 uh, mils, sorry, grams of Tesco's vegetable soup, 1340 grams of sweet potato, 605 grams of chicken raw, which works out to be 393 grams of uh, cooked uh, chicken, 20, 28 grams of casein protein powder, 75 grams of almonds, and 75 grams of walnuts. That is my entire diet for the day. That is all I eat, and a whole bunch of water, of course, uh, to keep my system going, and, um, and a multivitamin in the morning. I'm not on any other supplements, and in fact, uh, uh, the only supplement I'm on is casein protein, if you can even call that a supplement, but I'm removing that as well, so I'm going to take that away. So the only supplement I will be on is a multi-mineral multi that I'll take in the morning. I'm not going to be taking any protein powder, no creatine, no nothing. I'm just going to be straight doing it with whole food sources, uh, the way Mother Nature intended. Um, I hope this will be some help to you. It's going to be quite exciting. It's quite fun. It's nice to be cutting again. I do enjoy cutting. And I have spent a lot of time telling people how to do this and how to do that. It's going to be fun to put it into practice and show people the actual way of doing it and how it actually works and pitfalls, etc., etc. Um, at the moment, there won't be any refeeds because my fat percentage is a bit too high for me to need them. Um, yeah, I think that's about covering it. I think that covers everything. Anything else I'll put in the description or do another video. Um, Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to say is that uh, you should probably like the video, like my face, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course subscribe. Peace!